This video will show you how to repair Market Forge Autoclave. Market Forge Autoclave actually is uh, one of the biggest tabletop sterilizer in the US. The machine is very fast. Then you see the it's special this uh, is chamber. The chamber made from aluminum. It's very fast. The main control the, the chamber come actually come with uh, three heating elements. The one is the, the main heating elements on the bay on, in the on the bottom of the chamber. Another two on each side. The, when the machine start at the beginning, all the three heating elements activate. And when the machine build a temperature like two thirty Fahrenheit, the two side heating elements will stop. And they only use the main heating element to continue build temperature. When the temperature to reach for this one like 250 250 and then the main heating element will stop and the main heating element will keep on off on off during the temperature 250 and the, so on the in this area if you remove the front cover you have two contactors like this that they use to control the heating elements one for two side heating elements and the one for the main heating elements. And on the top of the machine, this is the controller for the ten for actually it's a pressure sensor. This one is control for the side, the two side heaters, and now this one is control for the main heaters. And the, when the when the machine starts to build temperature. To the sterilized temperature, actually, the two two thirty. The when the first pressure sensor activate, and then the timer start to move in. At that time, you will see this light will be always on, and this is this power is controlled by this relay. You see inside this relay, and that's the main con controller system for this machine. On the rear side, you will see the two important parts. One is the safety valve. This is another one is a steam trap to make sure that inside the chamber is no air left inside the chamber. And this is a sonar one, it's only for the fast ex exhausting mode. In the front side, you will see this one switch. You can control the slow mode for liquid and the fast mode for instruments. There are two meters gauges. You see one is for the pressure, another is for the temperature. But anyway, to be honest, this two meter is only indicative meter. You, you cannot rely on this reading. You need to rely on the calibration. Each year, normally we suggest the customer to recalibrate the machine. When, if in case the machine was over, that for any reason, like a run out of water, then maybe get high temperature, the machine very hot, then you will see the safety light, that we call low water light, is on, and the machine will cut power, its power automatically. When the machine is cool, and you just push the reset button, the machine will start to work again. So in general speaking, this machine is a manual machine, it's not a digital machine. It's very easy to, you can fix it. As long as you have an old meter with you, probably can do all the troubleshooting work. Yes, just one point more. On the bottom, this is a drain valve. These are ball valves, so it's where you can, if you want, for some reason, if any leaking, you can replace it. Just take these four screws and they take these two screws off. You can remove the lower side the cover and then you can work on inside. So if you still have any questions, if you are, just contact us. We will support you. Thank you. Bye.